Every day I scan the skies, hoping again to see that mystical sight. Hello YouTubers, this is Bob Hickman. You know guys, uh, I've been promising you another video on UFOs and uh, today this is going to be one that I think you'll find very, very fascinating. Um, about, probably about four years ago, uh, I was up at Landmark Mall, uh, which is just basically through those trees and up the hill. And uh, while I was there, I looked up in the sky, and it was over this general area here. Uh, was the hill that the mall sits on looks over this area of these apartments and houses. And uh, up in the sky, I saw the most amazing thing. I literally was watching the sky, and I saw a silver ball. That's right, it was a silver ball. Uh, floating in the sky, motionless. And I thought at first, oh, it must be a balloon. But as I looked at it, I could tell that it was solid metal and that it, uh, it wasn't moving like a balloon would move. Well, this was actually totally, totally motionless. And uh, I never, never forgot the experience. Well, <clears throat> interestingly, I... Uh, I thought, my gosh, have I seen a UFO? But then I thought, well, you know, UFOs are always like saucer shaped. The interesting thing is that that sphere that I saw, that silver ball floating in the air, didn't exactly match what I had always read about UFOs. I'd always heard they were saucer shaped or that they were triangular shaped, uh, but I had never heard of one that was a sphere. Well, I decided to do some research, and I found out that I'm not alone, that this is actually quite common in the UFO phenomena. And from what I understand, these spheres are probes that are sent out from a mothership, and they collect data, kind of like we send out satellites. But I can tell you this was no earthly satellite, for it was directly um, above these buildings here, which you can see. I'd say it was probably another hundred feet probably maybe a hundred actually more like a probably like a hundred yards up uh, but it was an amazing amazing sight and uh, I've watched for them ever since well the thing that prompted me to do this video was uh, at the time of the sighting I filed a report with MUFON and it was basically uh, a sighting report. And I'll put the links down there. You can actually go read my original, uh, my original report that I filed. I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, but what's interesting is at the time, nobody else filed a report like that. And I thought, am I the only person who has seen I cannot believe I'm the only person who has seen this. Well, just recently, a person approached me on the street and they said, are you Bob Hickman? I was a little shocked. I, you know, I don't often recognize the woman. But she says, I watch you on YouTube. And she said, I'm so glad to see your videos. Uh, I saw your video, your earlier one about UFOs. She says, I got to tell you, I saw a UFO over our area. I said, really? I said, what was it? And she described it. Well, I'm going to show you some pictures of it here in a little while. But I can tell you the amazing thing is that it was the exact object that I saw. And it was at the same time period. And this person right now chooses to remain anonymous. But they provided me with the photographic evidence of the, the UFO. So anyways, guys, check out the pictures. Many times after a sighting, black helicopters fly over our area. Now 
Now, I know some of you are going to say, oh, come on, Bob, aliens, you've got to be kidding me. But, you know, if you think about it, look how vast the universe is. Go out and study the night sky. Is it so impossible to believe that there is life on other worlds? And is it so impossible to consider that they might be exploring space? If you believe in evolution or creation, the possibility exists on each side of the spectrum. My first sighting was that sphere. And I tell you, it did me did my heart good to see and to know that I'm not crazy, that somebody else has seen it, and not only saw it, they recorded it. I didn't have a camera at the time, and boy, I tell you, these days I don't go anywhere without my camera. Maybe some of you have seen a UFO, and you think, am I crazy? Nobody believes me. I believe you because I've seen it. And you know here at Spirit Channel, you can come and share your experiences. You know, I actually want to know. I want to know what you see. I want to know what you hear. I want to know what experiences you have. So I'm asking all of you watching consider my evidence, consider my testimony, consider the testimony of those who have experienced this as well. I don't think we're all crazy. I do think that we're having experiences that are real. If you're somebody watching and you have a photograph of a UFO, if you've had an experience Some of you have been very scared by that experience, but I promise you there's nothing to fear. This is the wonderful thing about Spirit Channel. It's a place where we can support each other, where we can explore these mysteries. So guys, I encourage all of you, be aware, be attentive watch the skies and maybe you'll see a UFO and if you do try to film it and don't think you're alone I'm here to help you and to support you in your discovery and I know that a lot of people here at YouTube will be with you as well so working together we can we can face the changes that are coming for as I've told you, in 2011, we're going to have a lot more of these sightings. So let's all support each other as we watch the skies.